news and then some tips of people that have learned some things through this time. And as part of our challenge of getting through the pandemic, we've learned a lot about commu communicating and connecting through video. And the video helps people feel less isolated, feel more connected in some ways that are are really beneficial for folks to think about. And so Rebecca is just gonna share for about seven minutes. Rebecca's in Minneapolis, she's with Quillo. Um, and last week we talked a little bit about your audience and thinking about where your audience is at within their experience. And so Rebecca's gonna spend just a few minutes just sharing some ideas around video and how it can help connect people in these, these challenging times. So Rebecca? Awesome. Thanks, John, and hi, everybody. I'm glad you could join us today in these um, muggier days of summer. So um, with with video, um, my role within the, the Quillo platform is focused on, on content and using video as a way to help engage and connect with folks. I think that's also really ramped up in the last few months with the pandemic and how isolated folks have been. I mean, obviously, moving to platforms like this, video has become a little more of a norm, um, but a way to also um, personalize our communication. So. Um, I've got just a couple of tips and resources to possibly take some of the apprehension out of creating videos um, for our Quillo customers. Some of this might be a review, um, but also just, you know, again, some, some quick ways to um, get info out in a new and maybe fresh way, um, but also a, a, a format medium that's easy for folks to digest, right? They may not read a long email, but maybe they'll watch, the, watch a minute long video. Um, so with that, just a couple of, of quick tips and tools. I think the most straightforward and basic way to create a video is just use what you have with your phone, right? Um, smartphones all have that camera feature, video feature that can easily be uploaded, attached to an email. I'll show you a transfer program in a minute on other files and ways to get that info across. The only tip I'd have for you on um, using your phone is that you keep your phone turned horizontally when you record. I think for like FaceTime, chatting with friends, it's probably more comfortable that it's upright, but when you're recording something, that landscape um, format is really helpful when you're viewing it to be able to see it more full screen rather than getting those weird bars on either side. So just quick tip on that. Um, the other, um, beyond the, the phone, there's um, other programs you can use. I would say one that was surprising to me that I found really user friendly is PowerPoint. So if you have a PowerPoint program that, or a, 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 a presentation that you've made in the past, that can really easily be turned into be turned into a video. So I have an example here with Molly. Molly's a self advocate out of Indiana who was encouraging folks to vote. So in this slide, it was just a straightforward PowerPoint, right? Worked through the slides. And you can either export this as a video right away, or if you wanna add your own narration and video, I'll show you how to do that now. Under the slideshow portion, this record slideshow feature gives you the option to practice recording. And so, pull this over, just a moment. Hang on, my uh, screen is not behaving here. Let me switch screens real quickly and show you this one. Are you seeing this uh, with the black um, black screen around Molly? Great. Yes. So right here, you can opt to turn on your microphone and turn on your camera. Right now, I can't turn my camera on within YouTube because I'm using it for Zoom, but I could turn on a little camera of me in this corner, hit record, and just talk about what the slide is as if I were presenting it, move forward in the slides. PowerPoint is gonna record all of those timings. And when I'm ready to go to, um, to share this, switch back here. When I'm re ready to export this as a video, I just go to File, Export, and you have this video option. It'll format it with the timings that you've recorded in the PowerPoint, or you can set it to advanced, you know, advanced each slide every few seconds. Hit create video and it'll export it in a couple of formats. So just a quick way to, to use a tool that you may be familiar with in a video format. So I found PowerPoint really helpful. That's great for information, up to uploading um, pictures of your staff, welcoming somebody new. Again, another way to, to get that info out. 
Um, the other tools I want to show you are free and low cost tools that are available um, online. And I'll send you the links to all of these. Just walk through them real quickly. If you are sharing a, a video or a flyer even and you want some, some new and interesting photos, Pexels.com has free stock photos and you just search your um, search the topic of interest, whether it's team or voting, whatever it might be. Unsplash is another one. Again, I'm, I'll send all these links in the chat um, box in just a moment. So if you're putting together video about, hey, have you, have you registered to vote this year? You can pull a fun sticker and add, or a, a picture and add that to it. Want to spice it up a little bit? You can add royalty-free music with this Ben sound. All that they ask is that you give a little nod to them in your description about, hey, this music is from Ben sound. Very easy to do. If you want to get a little more advanced, these tools cost a little bit and take a little more creative energy, but it's an option. It's one called Beyond and Doodly that provide animated videos. So again, these might be, um, if someone on your team loves the creative element, um, I will say the Doodly and, and Beyond might get a step away from that personalization because it's not you that they're seeing. However, it's another, another medium, especially if you're a little not quite comfortable to be on camera yet, but another way to get info out. And then Loom is a program that we've become familiar with through Scott and Craig at Blitz. They, they use it regu regularly as a quick way to create a video, a how-to, and pass it along to folks that they're communicating with. And as you create these with your programs and results, whether it's sending a PowerPoint along or transferring the video, if the file's ever too big, we use this free program called wetransfer.com. That's an easy way to transfer files video, PowerPoints, whatever it might be across these platforms. So I'll add these to the, uh, uh, to the chat box here shortly. But um, the other thing you can always do is on your own computer, it's really likely that you have a free video editing tool already attached to your computer. Under the search bar, if you just type in movie or editing, those, that, those searches will often show up very user-friendly tools. So um, if you have quick questions, I'm also around to, to help out if you have any questions on that. But um, when it comes to the videos and why, again, like what's the point? Why does it matter with these videos? I think video is a great way to personalize, make your communication more direct, short, it's digestible for a broader audience. Um, and I'd caution you not to make, um, not to, to overthink it. Right. Give yourself a time time limit of I'm going to give myself 10 minutes or 10 takes. And if I'm um, wherever I'm at, at, at after 10 takes, that's the one I'm going to use. Right. Don't overthink it. Just get the info out. Your folks want to hear from you and know what's going on. See that personal message. So um, I will send the uh, links along in the chat here, but we'll wrap up. Are there any um, any quick questions or um, tips that other folks have related to content? I'll just okay. add one thing that, uh, you know, back in the dark ages when I was a consultant for America Online, they talked about smiling from the wrist down. Most of us do not know how to type an email and smile from the wrist down. So a quick tool like video, and Loom, by the way, you don't have to transfer any file. You just paste the link into your email mm -hmm. and it embeds mm -hmm. the, the video. Um, it's a great way to let your personality, because most of us, when we type something, obviously you don't have the intonations, you don't have the voice, you don't see the smile, whatever. So I could say, I could type something that Pete would take offense to, but if I do a video, he'd laugh, so. Yeah. And I think you made a good point, Rebecca, about um, not overthinking. You know, I, I've been sending my staff emails throughout the COVID pandemic and the social unrest that's going on specifically in New York. And um, I've looked back in my videos and saw there were 50 deleted. I said, oh my goodness. And it was like two hours later, I'm like, forget it. I'm not sending it. And then I just started to say it is what it is. Just send yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Don't and let um, perfect be the enemy of the good, you know. And got so. good feedback from staff saying, just saying thank you. It was great Good. to hear from you. Good. That, that's great to hear. I'm glad you found that platform useful, especially with, with topics that are, are, are difficult to navigate, right? Seeing that person behind it um, helps make it, you know, a little, little easier to, to digest. So, yeah. Well, we are at our, our 10 minutes. So um, 
want to, you know, thank everybody for your time today. Um, we will stick around for a few more minutes if anybody else wants to chat about anything. If you need to get, take, um, to get going, totally understand. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be back next week. Um, and a couple quick shout outs for some July events coming up. A reminder that um, Disability Voter Registration Week is the week of July 13th. Um, and then 30th anniversary of the ADA coming up on July 26th. So if you're creating any communication, um, those are a couple topics to keep in mind for this month. Um, otherwise, we wish you a good holiday weekend. And um, anything else from others before we wrap up? The only thing, just a quick reminder is, is we constantly ask people to think about sharing your good news. That if you see somebody doing something really great, share that with folks. I mean, we have countless stories around the country of people stepping up. Day service staff at one agency decided they were going to deliver groceries to people that were stuck at home and that were living with families. And so finding those stories and sharing them with, with individuals. Um, as Amara said, we have, we have not only the pandemic, but the social unrest, the, the police actions that have got so many people just on edge that and then we've got the economic issues of a recession going on. The, yeah. the Times basically said we have five major crises going on simultaneously, and it's impacting everybody's mental health. Yeah. And so how do we get through this together is sharing some good stories and encouragement along the way. So yeah. that so was our goal with our, our 10 minutes. So I'm sorry. Yes. One quick thing, uh, just to let you guys know, we had a virtual uh, rally that many of our staff you know, requested. And out of that, uh, so that virtual rally, there were a few people who who requested that we ha we we start a race and equity committee. That three of the staff um, are spearheading with one of the people in in our HR department, who's usually very introverted and doesn't like to be out front. So you know you could see that just bringing people together, there was just so much innovation that came out of it. So it was really excellent. Different. Excellent. Wow. You know, and I think that's where change is going to happen, you know, on that level of people talking with one another and, and being aware. So thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank well, you, everybody. Yeah.